Hi, brothers and sisters. Well, I thought I was done tonight. If you hear whistling, it's the wind outside. It's very windy. Um, I just stopped over to do this real quickly before I spend some time with my adorable grandsons. As I was driving, it, the Lord, Holy Spirit impressed on me. Sound the alarm. I'm sounding the alarm. We are in the final moments of the end of days. There's so many things that, that I could talk about that, that prove that out. We know the season we are in, brothers and sisters. It is so upon us. Look at society. We have literally crossed the threshold. One of you, Kendra, I believe it was Kendra, you shared an article, I forget which country, um, where a baby was born with the DNA from three adults, right? They take the genomes from the DNA. I've been reporting on that for two, three years now. We know that there are cloned animals in the U.S. There was a battle over a couple year period with the Quarter Horse Association over uh, those who have bred over generations to get champions and then the clone quarter horses that people thought they should get the award as champions as well and yet a veterinarian that I know said she has examined some of those clone quarter horses and they are unremarkable brothers and sisters we have cloned animals do you not think they have cloned people we have human animal hybrids pig hybrids with human DNA that the last I knew, and this was well over a year ago, in the U.S. they were able to live those embryos up to 28 days while they did testing. Testing. We've got, you've got robots now that unless you're told, you could barely tell. I could tell by the eyes, but that was it. And if they perfect that, that it wasn't even human. We, we have a year or so ago, Facebook had to shut down a couple of their AI systems because they began outside of what they were developed to do and the limitations. They began to create, they created their own language and began to do their own thing. There's so many things I could talk about. A, a lamb in 2017 that was gestation, th th that whole period, it was born in an, from an artificial womb. It, it, do you not see what's upon us? Th that's just a few things. I am sounding the alarm. We have crossed over into an area in, with technology, with our culture. Do I even need to go where our culture is? I, mean, I share these things all the time. Do, yesterday I shared the heartbeat bill that was passed in the state of Ohio. And I get why many of you are saying, well, at least it's a start. At least they can't, can't have abortions after a heartbeat is detected. Do you not think they're not going to lie about that? And, and when we, so basically the state of Ohio says it's not significant or not even life until there's a heartbeat. Life begins at conception. Do you not see when we get off God's standard, the path that we're on? Uh, we, we are living in days and times. We're like the frogs that were boiled slowly in the pot. This didn't spring upon us in six months or a year or two years or even three years. This has been going on in decades. I, I told one of my grandsons today, he was talking about Pokemon. Some of you may like that. I don't want that in my home. I said, no, no. We, do, we don't open those portals. We don't open the portal to the demonic. Things that people allow in their homes, that they allow in their churches, that, that expose them to the demonic. I'd say nine out of ten kids that I talk to in the junior high that I've talked to, nine out of ten recently have played with Ouija boards do we not even know what we're doing? And these are kids that are church kids. I say this all the time. Sitting in a church pew or chair no more makes you a Christian than sitting in a garage makes you a car. Brothers and sisters, it, it's the ABCs of salvation. And I hope you know this. You can go look at the videos. I share scriptures all the time. If you admit you are a sinner in need of a Savior and you believe 
on the Son of God, on Jesus Christ, that he always was God, was wrapped in flesh, was born of a virgin, lived a perfect life, and shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary to pay the debt once and for all, all sufficient for your sins, that he died, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead, you will be saved. If you haven't believed, I challenge you. If you say, but I just don't believe, call out to God. I, I firmly believe that if you are sincere and, and, and talk to him, just talk to him and say, if this is real, if this is truth, I challenge you to read the Gospel of John and call out to God. I, I believe he'll reveal himself to you. I believe Holy Spirit will do that regenerating work. I don't know how much time is left. I, I truly don't know how much time. I, I believe at any moment the believers, the body of Christ, are going to be caught up out of here. That's everyone from the nations or from the Jews who have believed on Yeshua HaMashiach, on Jesus Messiah. We're out of here. Brothers and sisters, it is so strong in my spirit right now to sound the alarm. He is coming. It is momentarily, and I mean that. It, we are in the season. He is coming for his bride. The bridegroom comes. You do not want to be left behind. That That's, I, I just, I had to stop and do, I'm sounding the alarm. I want you to know God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. God bless you. Have an awesome rest of your day. Who knows? We may meet in the clouds really, really soon.